This video will help illustrate the different helix tanning backlash nuts along with their features and benefits. Let's start with the AAB nut, the axial anti-backlash nut. This is a simple uh, preloaded design and what we mean by that is there's a compression spring as you can see on this sample. The compression spring pushes the two nut halves apart and biases them against the opposite flank angles. This is a low cost method of taking out the backlash and compensating for wear. With this design, the uh, stiffness is relative to the spring force, and we have different springs available, lighter and heavier springs for the application requirements. This nut is good in cost sensitive applications. It's also good for back driving where a customer may want the extra drag torque to help hold a load in a certain position. Also, if a customer is turning this in a manual operation, they may want some resistance uh, so that uh, they don't overshoot their mark. Let's take a look at the RAB nut. It stands for Radial Anti-Backlash Nut. Like the Axial Anti-Backlash Nut, they utilize a compression spring, except in this design, the compression spring pushes on this collar, which then closes the fingers down radially or normal to the axis of the screw. This design then is more actually stiff than the AB nut and will take a higher design load than uh, the other uh, AB nut. So here's the collar here, and what we have inside the collar is these molded ramps. So the compression spring pushes this collar and then compresses the fingers that then clamp down on the screw to take out the backlash. Okay, let's take a look at the tab nut, torsional anti-backlash nut. So this design here utilizes a torsion spring, not a compression spring. We're not pushing two nut halves apart with a, with a heavy compression spring. Um, and biasing against opposite flank angles. What we're doing is utilizing a torsion spring. And that torsion spring is unwinding and moving this black collar. So it's setting the gap between the two nut halves at a predetermined length. What's nice about this nut is that this nut is very actually stiff. So it has very high repeatability. I could stand on this nut and this nut is, is very stiff. It's not gonna have any, any give to it. Whereas this, the comp on the AB nut, the compression spring nut design, you can see that it's got some uh, compliance to it. So um, as a result of not using a compression spring, this whole design would work uh, without the spring itself. You'd have to manually go in and adjust this uh, as wear occurs. The spring just, as you can see, the spring just makes it automatic. to show you a little bit of the uh, functionality there. You can see as wear occurs, that collar just advances and picks up for the play um, that's in the, in the system. This is a larger version of that same nut. Um, and because we don't have a compression spring, we have a very low drag torque nut. Um, this nut right here is, is designed for 75 pounds, but yet there's only three ounce inches of drag torque to drive this very low for this style nut. Shown here is our nut selection guide with the three types of nuts, along with the characteristics of cost, load, stiffness, and torque. Cost is self-explanatory. The design load is the dynamic load or force that the nut is capable of moving. The stiffness is the ability to resist backlash due to compliance in the nut. And the torque is the drag force between the nut and the screw. All the nuts are made from our Helix proprietary material with the Teflon micro powder. Also available are custom mounting configurations like custom flanges and custom thread mounts to meet your application requirements. We also have other materials available upon request to meet higher PV limits, temperature, and environmental issues.
I hope this video was helpful in explaining the nut differences. Please check out our nut assembly videos and corporate video online at helixlinear.com.